Uh, all right, we can start now. I think um, I invite Mr. Deepak to give an introduction for today's session. Hello, everyone. Welcome to day three of online workshop on digital pedagogy. It is with great pleasure that I introduce our distinguished speaker, Dr. Krishna Sankar Kusuma, for this ongoing wonderful workshop. Professionally, he is currently working as associate professor at AJK Mass Communication Research Center, Jamia Milia Islamia. He teaches science documentary, communication research, theory, mobile cinema, advertising and public relations, performance media, movies, and South Indian cinema. Academically, he has completed his master's from Hyderabad Central University and PhD from Jamia Media Islamia. He successfully completed film appreciation course from FTII and, and NFAI, Pune, and media law course from Nalsar Law University, Hyderabad. Before coming to AJK Mass Communication Center, he worked in Tejpur Central University, Assam, Utkal University, Odisha, Venkateswara Fine Arts College, Hyderabad. In his early career, he worked on various video documentaries and television format. He has presented papers at various national and international conferences. His area of research includes media research, critical media theories, media education, digital media, media law, communication policy, inclusive communication, cinema, Dalit and minority studies, mobile filmmaking, etc. He has worked for UGC as in charge of consortium for educational communication, educational program production, MOOCs and e Sala, Swam Prabha Channel 5. He has also worked in the Department of Communication, Ministry of Higher Education, Oman. There is much more about him. So without wasting any time, let's welcome our today's speaker, Dr. Krishna Sankar Gusama, who is going to talk about creating engaging digital content for effective learning. Thank you very much for a very elaborate and uh, warm uh, welcome. And uh, before uh, uh, we, we start, I just wanted to tell all the uh, teachers, gurus from uh, Navodaya, that uh, I'm a pass out of Navodaya, third batch from uh, Kadapuram, East Godavar district. So it will be a very uh, cherishable moment for me to meet you all uh, through this online platform. So I wanted to tell you first that uh, before uh, we go to the actual uh, topic of creating effective content for the digital uh, uh, presentations and uh, uh, other uh, platforms. So I wanted to give an overview of uh, how this content is very important uh, in the present time. So here, uh, I'm associated with the preparing of the massive open online courses. But of course, I'm aware that different uh, levels at school level and college level and the university level, there are individual university, college and schools. They are making their efforts to teach more than, uh, 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 you know, whatever classroom uh, requirement. So they are making their lectures uh, available, not only for one school, something like Navodaya school, uh, it works like a mini central universities. It is not like one school. There are other schools who will benefit from the best teachers around in that field. So it is important at this uh, digital era to keep our lectures beyond our students also. That means it is not just only restricted to the students in your classrooms, but also students across the disciplines and other Navadaya schools. So digital presence, of course, I am, I am aware of that. It is happening two different ways. One is creating content and offering like a courses 
and another one is using digital tools in the classroom this is a post covid uh, training that has given to us and the third one is we are creating content to not only our students but also lifelong learners they are available so that the contribution to the society is uh, more than uh, what is uh, uh, your job uh, daily routine is uh, restricting you so that you can uh, also talk about things beyond if, if if a mathematics teacher is interested to talk about uh, maybe a vedic maths which is not taught uh, in many schools so maybe you can talk about that and you can uh, uh, make uh, an alternative way of uh, making the students uh, interest in the mathematics so here uh, to prepare content we have variety of tools with the digital uh, we have a text based tools which can be made interactive also we have audio tools we have video tools okay all these are one thing that we need to remember these are all tools that are now multimedia tools they are uploaded on the websites and consumed through the applications okay there are two platforms which i am telling you one is mobile applications another one is websites not only this one important thing i came across that uh, some of the colleges and schools are doing that uh, inter school uh, um, school teleconferencing video conferencing these video lectures through streaming one college teach one school, uh, school teacher is teaching a uh, very important topic that is uh, uh, transmitted streamed in other schools also at the same time so this is these are these are the things that you are going to do uh, as i'm assuming um, am i right sir uh, um, these are the things maybe uh, one of these things you will be doing either video conferencing or recording your lectures uh, uh, in then you are editing and curating right right sir so in this you see there are number of tools have come you can yes. also uh, you can also make videos by using your own web camera and you can also do uh, audio by using your own cell phone uh, audio but the problem is sometimes the clarity is very important the aesthetics the color sharpness use of fonts these are also very very important and also very important that if your school is going to offer that content or maybe keeping it in your own navodaya website what is going to happen is it is a government institutes it will be accessed by we have a diksha portal in andhra pradesh e basta is there so a lot of these portals are maintained by the government and uh, they are they have to give access to the public so there when you upload in the public platforms it is important to see the 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 copyright aspect of it so let us see if you have shot say for example on um, uh, you see uh, a poems of uh, shakespeare you did one lecture so that lecture there are poems you may be using uh, certain kind of pictures certain kind of uh, um, uh, you know uh, graphical material in your video so that requires a certain understanding of existing uh, uh, rules and regulations so first i will move to that uh, for creating the content of course for creating content definitely you need your lecture first what is the lecture that you need to write that lecture has to be there and um, generally the content should be previously 30 minutes we used to give after that now the attention span of student is not that much so now iits uh, and iims they have suggested the government make it three parts maybe 8 minutes 10 minutes or less than 10 minutes actually even if it is 5 minutes if you see any videos of 
IIM Bangalore X, that is an online platform where they give their online video material. So my suggestion is also not to give a very long videos. You can record longer videos. First point is you should have your script or a lecture. Like you speak in the uh, classroom, how you are going to talk to your computer, then you will be recording your video. After recording the video, it is not that uh, if it is a 5 minutes video or 15 minutes video, all the 15 minutes video I am only speaking or you are only speaking. That will be boring. And for example, if I don't show a PPT to you, it will be boring. So you should have relevant pictures, relevant graphics, relevant videos. So there are websites, there are material available in terms of sourcing and using in your lecture. You understand my point? First point is that you should have your lecture first. Say on pollution, you want to do a lecture. Different types of pollution and how it's going to affect the society and what you need to uh, do as a vigilant, uh, responsible citizen. All these things you are teaching. After that, when I'm talking about uh, water pollution, okay, pollutioning of the rivers, then what you need to do, instead of your picture, your voice will be there in the entire lecture, there you will put some relevant videos, animations, and photos. With this, what happens, it will be more engaging and effective. Now, first, before going to that uh, presentation and what you need to do in the editing, I would like to take you to the rules of sourcing those free materials. Okay. Now, you see here, there is something called Creative Commons. Creative Commons, when you search in the Google for images, you will have in, in, in the first instance, it will give you all the images that are available. But uh, in that there is a line written, the images may be copy, subject to copyright of the person who is owning. Okay, you cannot use it. The moment you upload in YouTube, Vimeo or any other platform, you get a copyright notice from them. So to avoid that, you need to see, you need to use a filter in the search what is the content that is required for you that can be sourced from a non-copyright material. So for that, there is something called CC that is called Creative Commons. Some good people who share their photos, videos, graphics, animation, music, sounds, fonts, to all the public without taking, charging any money. That is the greatness of this forum. And they are terming, this is copy left. That is called Creative Commons. In this Creative Commons, if you see, if there is any doubt in between, you can always ask me. And if you want me to speak in Hindi also, I know a little bit of it, I can speak. So in this, you see, <clears throat> it's a non-profit organization. Wikimedia Foundation. So there, licensing is open to, for especially there are different levels of licensing is there. And if you see anywhere, if you see one C, what it means is is round me. If you see one C, what do you mean by that? Copyright. Copyright. That means the right of the copy is with the person who has uploaded there. If there are two C's, that means there is a chance. For education in general, what I want to tell you, there is a lot of uh, freedom is there because you are not doing it for the profit earning. So he, this Creative Commons license is a very uh, treasure, is a good treasure for the content creator, especially for teachers. This is the difference which you have already identified. So all rights are reserved on this, this but here, all creators may give certain rights and certain rights they may ask you also to contribute. Let us see what are they. So in this, these are the all of them actually. 
you see we'll go one by one you see if there is a symbol first symbol most free is this first first one uh, you see cc by cc by attribution is not required that means you need not even mention you can something called reuse and remix you can reuse and remix that material you take you want to make a certificate for participation take a nice design and you can always reuse and remix and something called attribution share alike if you find this symbol that means you have to share a similar work in the public domain okay you also contribute for the free uses of the material so they are not asking uh, they are asking the attribution they are also asking the share alike so here attribution non commercial you can use it see dollar sign is crossed that means you can use this photo video graphic material but you should not use for the profit making for education purpose is purely almost everything works uh, you can use it uh, but at the end you know the video or even text material try to give acknowledge who are the main contributors and non derives i mean to say that uh, you are not going to get any uh, you know uh, benefit from it and also um, in this uh, you cannot uh, i mean to say that sometimes you cannot remix certain thing you cannot use it as it is and even other things are also there um, uh, if you are using uh, for a non commercial once you make your content you share it and you see this is the one um uh, you you cannot uh, uh, use it uh, uh, for a commercial purpose but um, you can use it with all the you have to give the attribution where it is taken you have to say that it is not for commercial purpose you have to share it with the uh, uh, any content that you have created that must be uh, given to the people see if you see the first few first two things share alike and attribution they are the most recommended things but other things also you can also give and you can also use it and uh, uh, if you see let me go to the other one when you are preparing the content when you are preparing the content uh, my advice is to take one of the photos some of the sources is you see when you are preparing the content you see for images you please take a photograph of this for checking the images something called pixabay pixels it will give you a uh, videos images and all you see let me also search for you are you able to see this uh, pixabay uh, uh, website it's going to come it's going to come it has come you are able to see sir or you i need to share it again uh, so yes. we can see you can see thank you very much you see in this all these are important for making a effective content effective content is uh, not just only a uh, videos effective content is also all these adding photos to your videos illustration sometimes we made a uh, distance education material for communication in nios see traditional media i want a picture somebody who is playing dolak nautanki karte hue i need a photo i don't have a photo and if i take a photo maybe that will be copyrighted then what we did we hired a person to illustrate that and no copyright you see illustrate that so here you have some illustrations vector graphics that means there are good files which you can use it you can remix it in the sense you can edit and make it even a better one videos sometimes we need a background music when the video is moving sometimes you have to create some very soothing sound sometimes in the educational video if we say for example or to autumn there's a poem you create some small music that will give a feel and a mood for an effective video so you get a free music here sound effects let us see let us see some pictures about pollution no, because i am uh, keeping in mind of teachers from all disciplines you see here wonderful imagination 
of the earth. You see? You see this? Very beautiful. And you see what is the cost of this? Sometimes if you want to buy this picture, it will cost you no less than $30 to $50. But you see? Content license. You see content license? Content license is use content for free. Use content without having attribution. Attributing, they are itni ache, they are telling that don't even mention our names, no need to give acknowledgement to us, use it. But my, I always advise you, you can always, you can see, you can modify or adapt the content. If you want to use it as a logo in your poster, you can use it and you can use uh, uh, anyways. That is a Pixar pay. Even you see, there is a, a free pick. This is a website. Uh, of course, I, I will just show you. Just after this, I will be we move, moving back. Here, you see, for a COVID mask, say we were, um, you want to create a social uh, class, ke liye, you want to create a social media campaign about uh, uh, maybe wearing mask during COVID time. Then. Otherwise, now you see that, okay, clean environment. So you need a dustbin. You can take a picture, but uh, if you want a uh, a dustbin, something like this. Kude, this is a very interesting thing. I need not to create. I need not to pay anybody to uh, for this purpose. Then I can create this. I can use it in my uh, thing. And there are a lot of symbols, a lot of messaging things. Then you can use it and you can always remix it. There is a possibility of it. Now let's come back here. Is that these are the some of the uh, even NASA. ISRO, their content is free and even Rajya Sabha TV, television, this, uh, uh, but Doordarshan is not actually. Some of these contents are free. We can use it, some of the clips and uh, to make it more relevant, student uh, imagination, you should fill with these things. If you see text, there are, uh, say you have written a lecture about um, say pollution or any other. Uh, so then what happens on the same lectures elsewhere, uh, like these um, open sources, you have some material found, some text material, Wikimedia, textbooks are also there. You found something, you also add, give a link to that. But copyright material, better not to give. There is a gutenberg.org and all these things are there. And the videos, in Pixabay, Pixel, in YouTube, you search uh, Creative Commons uh, or copy um, royalty free. Yeah? You have to type royalty free images, royalty free graphics. Then you will find this material. And um, this is a combination of open source free audio visual resources. Uh, I, what I will do for your thing, maybe. Uh, I'm also, I can also share this with the uh, thing and uh, in the chart, I'm going to paste this and send it to you so that you can remember this. These are all Unsplash, Shutterstock, a draft, Dareful. This is also very, very interesting. For sound, you need to use Ben Sound. There are very interesting music that is available. Most of the video lectures, you'll find the thing. And nowadays, you see YouTube audio library. That's a different app altogether. They have curated the free music that can be used. And of course, um, the one point is that uh, in every minute, there's a number of videos are uploaded. It is very challenging. But the point is that how to attract the, uh, the, 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 if you guess on, say, for example, on Shakespeare, uh, if you're following NCRT system, uh, maybe you will find uh, some some 20, 30 teachers are teaching the same paper, same lectures are available. So how to make your lecture more interesting, effective, engaging. You see, engaging is very important. How you can engage the person. So now, so far, we have talked about why we need to go in the digital domain as a teacher at this juncture, okay? Why we need to go to digital beyond our classroom? One is for the benefit of our students. One is for other 
students and lifelong learners. And the second one, to make videos, it is not just recording the lecture. You have to make it more engaging. So you need a relevant photos, videos, that is we have discussed. And for that, to make it in the public domain, it is important to have, even you make a PPT. Generally, we make PPT by taking pictures and all, but that is also not correct. You always take copy, uh, that is a royalty-free uh, material. Now you see, the most important thing, you do video presentations. In the video presentations, what are the skills that require that makes your video more engaging? Okay. In this, we have, uh, I will go one by one. You see, in this uh, presentation uh, uh, thing, sometimes what happens, you may be recording with your mobiles. Mobiles are recording great. You can also test your experience. Uh, I think uh, already you have got an exercise of recording one minute or two minute videos. You can always record where you can record necessarily not uh, behind the whiteboard. Whiteboard, when you record, it look very dark. It very you know clumsy, but you see when you record in the nature, you know in the nature green, uh, some flower pot is there, so it's, it's very interesting. But the problem is the there are all kinds of sounds will come. So anywhere you record, you need to have a good lighting. That means one is on your head on the top of your head, and the one is uh, in front of you. If you have even one side, there is one light, then your, your, your light will be very good. Okay. That is very important because one is on the top, in front of you, and left. Because see, for me, I have one light on top. Even you can see a better if I have one more light on the top of my thing. So because see, the camera is a light sensitive thing. If there is a good light, even if you take a normal mobile camera, you can make a very good video. It's all is a game of light only. What is photography? Photography. The, 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 the meaning is writing with light. You understand? Photography. Writing with light. Okay. So light is very connected. So lighting is important. You have, your lecture is very good. But lighting is not good, looks very, very dark and uh, patches and all. That doesn't look good. Not, not pleasing, actually. So here, in the uh, presentation, it's very important that, see, I speak very fast. My, my minutes per second, my, my RPM, that means what you say, I, I'll speak uh, very fast sometimes in, the, in general, in my class. But when it comes to a, a recording videos, making content, it is important because I don't know, some of you are using uh, a mobile phones, which have a, sometimes signal is slightly, internet signal is coming down and up. If I, you need to speak a little slower phase. Otherwise what happens? Everybody may not get what I'm speaking. So in the videos, it is important. It's not an interview that you can say, okay, today we'll let's talk about these things. And uh, I'm sure uh, you understood uh, how to make the uh, open educational content. It is not required. It's not a news channel. It is a, you need to explain, you need to be, uh, you know, very simple uh, language. And also you, your face of speed of delivery should be slightly slower than your usual classroom thing. So first point is that uh, try to write your script. So script is a very big word, but don't worry about it. Whatever you are going to explain your uh, lesson, okay, your lesson. But lesson is written, maybe in a past tense or maybe is, is explained in paragraphs. But in this, when we teach students, what we do, Okay, now let's talk about the advantages. As we have discussed already the advantages, 
Now, look at the other side of it. So this is this what happens. These are the some connecting lines as if you are speaking to a student who is in front of you. That is very important. So that is uh, uh, your script. Why? That's why I'm saying it is not, it is a lesson converting to the script is very important. In that, write to write or maybe practice that how to add your usual unique words that connects alert the student that is important so your body language is also very important of course my this thing is very big it should have been the the frame should have been here so but i cannot uh, see my uh, what is there in the script so i am slightly keeping up my headroom is slightly big there is something called headroom see I, I cannot be like this cut i cannot be like this i will be visible and it's it's slightly like this it is slightly like this or oh, this is much better maybe if i move back even this is better so that my hand should be visible if i'm talking my hand should be visible Otherwise, what happens? Like in Shole, I don't have my hands. So I'm just speaking like this only. It is like that. No, it's not like that. Say, I have to use hands in communication. It's a very important thing when we are talking about. Of course, because I have, I have to come very near and doing it. Otherwise, in the class, we, we do, we, we walk, we talk, we move around and we look at the student. So here, all these things are done with your hands. So hands and head movement is very important. Sometimes in the studio, I want to tell you, in the studio what happens, you have a laptop kind of situation. You have a laptop that's called teleprompter. In the teleprompter, you have your lecture is uploaded and you'll be reading from left to right. Very like a robotic thing. But you remember everything. My idea is that do it impromptu and what you can do is try to be as you are, as you are in the, imagine you are in the class and you are explaining, but your eye movement to the camera is very important. Your eye movement to the camera. Now I'm talking to you, but I'm, I'm not talking to you. I'm just looking at this side, but I need to make the audience feel that I'm talking to you. And my hands are also suggesting something important. Let me talk about it. This is, this, this, this is the extreme thing. The more you say, first, second, third. So this, these all symbols signifies a more important uh, uh, way of accepting certain arguments. So here, first point is that write your script. Write in a conversational mode. Okay, Write in a conversational mode and try to talk to the camera as your students are in front of you. And your body language is very, very you need to be not relaxing your uh, elbows as you always know you are you are very very senior teachers uh, the only thing is that camera once it records it will stay for as long as this digital is there so your video up retire ho jayenge, but fir bhi you are alive in the video that you are alive and teaching many people are benefiting from you that is a, that is the beauty of this uh, digital era that we because see, I, even I have in uh, I want to see my teachers uh, in uh, now they are a very good uh, uh, English teacher science teachers very nicely they used to explain from the live examples uh, but I don't get to see they never recorded their videos we don't have a facility like that now we have a facility we have a mobile we have a chance you have a training this thing so that is a momentum where you can live longer than your job period that is one thing and uh, and of course you see let us go one by one you see uh, you have to see what are the difficult words that are there do you need some explanation giving some more uh, examples elaborating on it you have to see that uh, even you can practice on, a, on your camera mobile phone and show it to a student is it good? Is are you understanding? If they ask a question, try to rectify that. The feedback is a very important thing, and um, of course, um, you have 
whenever we say uh, let's take a photograph uh, i'll be also like this very strict very body is freezing but that will happen with everybody in terms of first uh, instance it will happen but once you make one or two videos you will be more uh, comfortable with the uh, camera and you see uh, you have a natural instinct everybody has a natural instinct somebody smiles somebody uh, is more expressive eyes so you be as you are that is uh, 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 important and um, and also sometimes you can use quotes like you see like you use in the classroom and also uh, sometimes you need to demonstrate a software or maybe show a picture or a monument uh, no a monument maybe in real life you may not take your students there maybe you show a small video of uh, say national museum national museum of art okay what is there and what is uh, 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 available there how it looks like and now there is a new museum uh, very interactive highly technical uh, we have a uh, thin murti bhavan we have a, uh, all pms museum is there very interesting so you can show uh, such things you you bring that video and talk about it and explain them so demonstrative is also helps a lot i mean to say it is not just oral but also showing and telling like you in the b ed and all we all uh, learn that uh, using audio visual aids it is a simple way in it also we are using so you have to know before you shoot what are the pictures that you're using what are the videos that you're using so that accordingly you also script them and speak actually that is very important and also you have okay this is a dslr photo it can be a camera also the back camera has better quality and uh, of course nowadays it's a tiktok uh, uh generation the vertical videos don't shoot vertical videos shoot only horizontal videos because our tvs are horizontal our uh, other platforms are also horizontal our uh, projectors are also horizontal so make horizontal but you want to make a small trailer in for instagram you can make a small snippets and make it but generally you please shoot with the horizontal the way you are see my video and um uh, and you see there is if you are not confident about some of the definitions okay and pronunciations you should practice that and that time what you need to use some of the text material if i am talking about uh, a definition of uh, what is uh, um, what is colonialism or maybe some definition something like that then i can give that definition in the text as a graphic that means like a ppt you you give that uh, person's photo or a book or the quotation the same thing copy that you make it in canva or you ask any student they will make it very beautifully and you just yeah dimple sir sir Actually, you you bring that into uh, your video. So when you are speaking about uh, that uh, definition, what yeah. happens? Students can actually read that. They are not only just listening to you or viewing, but also. Maybe it can be muted uh, from your side. Ankita, mute kar do, please. Ankita, make okay. sure everybody is muted. So in this, you see, uh, it is important that uh, before you record your videos, whether it is in a mobile or your own uh, DSLR cameras or any video conferencing system, so there what you need to do is you need to know that the point is that shooting is only a small activity but before the shooting all this preparation is very important even what is the shirt that you are wearing if you are shooting in a green screen that means there is a green cloth where you can change the background that is possible 
I will tell you, even if you don't uh, have a green screen, I will tell you a website where you can upload your video and change the background to uh, maybe you're talking about uh, woods are lovely, dark and deep. Nice uh, a picture about uh, uh, jungle and woods and very talking about very serene, beautiful pictures you can also have. So something like road never taken, you find it. So you have, uh, if you're talking about economics, talk about some graphs and all, you can keep uh, in that. So uh, these are the decisions that you should make it. Say, for example, if I wanted you to speak, you wanted to show something while you are speaking, okay? Previous example is that, what is that? I'm speaking, but I have got a definition. I want to show the students with the scholar's name, with the scholar's picture. So my visual will not be there. I will show it to them. So, but this is a different thing. So what I will do, you see in the news, you might have seen my picture is here. I'm recording. I'm leaving this space. This space I'm leaving. What I will do, I'll make a small rectangle here. I can show relevant images, pictures while I'm speaking. Okay. So for that, your seating arrangement has to be made in such a way that while you are speaking, this text will be unfolding on your this side. So that is another decision that you should make. I mean, these are something, there is no for such fixed rules, but it is important to see whether, uh, uh, because one thing, what I realized after making a lot of these educational videos, students are interested in what you are speaking. The audio is very important, The what you are speaking. The text is very important. They, they are not interested to see all the time you. It is not a class. There is an entry and they are sitting together and uh, they are conditioned to sit. This is a video. They can skip. That is why 20% only your video should be there. You, sh you should be visible. In between, show that text. That means the definitions and important words, concepts, bird's eye view. Any difficult term you are talking about it, the term should come here and give definition in different colors. And the font very nicely, pleasingly, you see. That point. They say, for example, I don't use times of times New Roman or Arian. I use something called Roboto, which is rounded, bold, looks very nice. So you must choose font that up choose kar sikte, the shirt you are wearing that you will be looking at, and something called you see Dr. K S Kusuma. You might have seen my name has come. This software has already said that is called lower thirds. That means a white color, white color KS Kusuma is written, black background may black hai. You can make it, it could have been yellow, light yellow, it would have been even beautiful. So the point is that you can, you, you should be worrying about the font, color, and the placement. These are the part of the aesthetics of the video, which makes it more pleasing, pleasing, and uh, they will actually see. So I can make a simple white background uh, PPT also, but this is something like I have read here uh, and something uh, image I've added that is uh, very important. And so these are all I'm talking about while sitting. It is not necessary that you always sit. You can have two students in front of you or a group of students who are asking questions. Sir, we have in, in, in uh, IAM Ahmedabad, they have showed a video, very interesting. They were trying to tell about uh, marketing. The video starts like this. The professor is playing a chess and the student comes uh, and they also watches. They ask a question. Uh, slowly, the conversation from the chess, which will lead to marketing entrepreneurship. So that is a slightly dramatic. That's a more advanced way you can do it. But otherwise, there are a number of possibilities. You can stand and speak also. But your camera should be capable of, you, the distance of the camera should be far. So that way, you can speak, you can stand. <coughs> I will show you some videos. Yes, sir. Of course, these are some of the things sometimes we use. Uh, but see, when you use something like uh, graphs and uh, um, maps, <laughs> they're sometimes very, very controversial. When you use pictures like this, 
don't use these pictures which are not relevant to your culture which is free also but don't use the pictures which are relevant not relevant to you or you can even take pictures from your mobile phone and you can opt actually use so any mistake that is done in a video that will remain for another 20 years that is the mistakes uh, <coughs> can be omitted that is why the script has to be written in advance even that one minute video also you might have done exercise is that one minute okay that's something i will do it but no for one minute also where you are shooting are you standing are you sitting what is your background what are you wearing in in which pitch okay let's talk about this no this pitch is not suitable for this so pitch is also very important okay first you record we test the mic okay whether it is recording or not so whether it is recording in a right pitch or not these are all very important because for any video production it is always important audio is the hero of the film in the sense the audio is very very uh, you know uh, people listen to you that is very important video is fine see nothing is there in my behind actually i would have kept something very some books or something so mm, th that makes it more interesting also so here um, in the beginning definitely you are not using good morning only in the physical class you will use digital will remain student might watch it uh, in the evening also winter also summer also so it is important to say um maybe you can use uh, namaskar or maybe um, hello student dear students so use something not uh, any time specific thing and um, it's important to uh, introduce introduce the lecture first then after introduction come and talk about okay i am uh, dr uh, say uh, santosh kumar from this uh, school and uh, let's today talk about this topic in the beginning like in the class you might have seen uh, the the prices of onion is increasing and uh, maybe the inflation you might have heard in the news and newspapers what is this inflation i am dr santosh kumar now let's talk about in today's lecture about inflation and what are its reasons the concept definition so then you come to the uh, other important things so it is not necessarily you just jump on the topic and telling what is the advantage disadvantage definition and uh, all these things and conclusion is over no it should be maintaining same phase same uh, thing so this is how the green screen looks sometimes is the entire thing is green because if you are standing it's fine but if you wanted to uh, uh, sit and talk that is also possible even once green screen see one side is also enough but the only thing is that see this is the green screen she was doing and the below is the picture they have kept print and broadcasting a text also they have kept they have kept uh, some uh, as if she is shooting on a very big uh, studio but it is not that it is very important uh, in all this video recording again i reiterate sound is very important even if you shoot with your mobiles also in case in case i'm telling you can always use a a microphone that can connect your uh, phone that gives you a very good that is called lapel mic which you can keep it here under the shirt you can keep it here then it will there's, there's see always this is a gap from your mouth to the you cannot keep the mic very near it should be gap like this aapke haath aisa karke thumb se yahan tak jitni dur hai you have to keep that and that is that will give you a better otherwise what happens the sound will burst sound and lighting is a very important thing of course um, uh, let's see basing on your question see this is uh, some this is the teleprompter which i want to show you that uh, in the studio you have a laptop kind of thing camera is behind in the camera camera is behind a mirror where it reflects your speech i would say your lecture it rolls on and you will be speaking so as if you are looking at the audience she is my colleague uh, uh, dr pragati and um, and let me also uh, quickly move to some examples which i can show you 
Okay. Of course, before you go, you need to practice the difficult names. The difficult names you need to practice uh, because some of the foreign scholars, because as teachers, we cannot make mistakes. So that is very important. Students will find mistakes much better than the uh, good things. So it is important to pronounce uh, that there are a lot of tools are there. Uh, you can do uh, pronounce. That's very important. And of course, a lot of these things I have talked about it. And if you want to use a teleprompter in your mobile or a tab, what is the teleprompter do does? It will read as if you are reading. It keeps on moving further. You can control it also. That is called Parrot. P-A-R-R-O-T. Okay. Parrot is a software where you can use teleprompter. Let me also show you that app. This is one of the quite popular app. Sorry, not this. Here is the application. This is the link. If you download, my, again, I'm sending this to you, your chart, chart so that you can use it further. This is the application where you can make your, um, you can control the speed. You can reduce this uh, font or increase the font according to your thing. And also, you can also um, make the margins and all these things you can do it in this and um, it's a very very powerful tool and uh, quite cheaper i mean it's, it's no cost uh, but the only thing is that when you record maybe uh, you need somebody else to uh, help you out uh, while doing and uh, in this you see in every video to make it more effective it is important to create an intro video okay an intro video when you see news what it comes there is a globe which is moving around and the news international some photos are coming likewise you need to create 30 seconds some 30 seconds maybe if you want more you can create 30 seconds uh, intro video so my course is media content platforms on Media content production or multiple platforms, something uh, which is about production, video production. So in this, what is important is I am covering audio, video and all these things. So there I am uploading these all. Uh, I, these, now they, nowadays there is a website called invideo.com. Even Canva also helps you to create intro videos. You need to upload the text, photos, videos and it's just a button. It will create an intro video for you. Then you can edit. You see here. <laughs> see, I can give only the picture. But I said that editing, video editing, it is important. Like you might have seen the uh, brute videos. In the brute videos, what happens? They always give you the text plays an important role. It is not just audio and video only because uh, what say, for example, uh, the important uh, lines uh, in your lecture can be appeared in a more, uh, you know, uh, prominent way in different colors and fonts that will communicate even more effectively. <laughs> You can have your local university. Welcome to this the is massive done a open long back. online course on. Yes, I just want to show you. Uh, this is a background which you can create even in Canva. That is um, is a multiple platforms. There is a. Uh, these are some of the elements of the media that I've used, and I just wanted to bring your attention. See here. Objectives of the course. I don't want my picture to be there. 
I want the viewer to read it. Course. The course will introduce the learners to the nuances of the changing media scenario in terms of production of media content to enable the learner. This is your intro video. Maybe your uh, content production on multiple platforms. I welcome you all to register and enroll for the MOOC on media content production on multiple platforms. Uh, here, I will also show you. See, this is IAM Bangalore. IAM Bangalore. They use what is lacking in my video at that point of time is the music. The music is there in the intro, but not a letter. But you see, I am Bangalore. What they do before you make a video shooting, video shooting, they have a certain forms where the, the, the team, design team will actually tell what is there, what will be your background, what you're wearing, and what, what is the editor should keep in mind. All the things they will, they will decide first. Their videos are quite soothing, you must see. It doesn't matter which part of the world you are, what language. This is their intro. See, the teacher is so energetic. Speak. See, see, this is what I'm telling you. Her name is written. See, her institute name is there. And uh, her name uh, is written, the, the, the lower third, this is called. It's uh, it, it should match and in contrast to uh, what she's doing. Some of us need to reflect some time about what is people management. Let's now listen to some opinions from people on what they think is people management. I think people management is a set of things that you do to help. Now you see it is interesting. You see the video, you need not to show the entire video. The video is half split. Okay. And uh, what he's saying, uh, the main crux of it, performing better. That is the word that they wanted to uh, install in the uh, minds of the people who are viewing. So that's uh, uh, one of the interesting things. Suddenly the screen becomes half and you're right. This is a simple trick. Don't think that uh, uh, any young editor, students, they can always do it. Uh, group of people perform better. To me, people management is about understanding your employees and your manager. No, I haven't heard about people management. Sorry. People management is not just about managing relationships. To me, it's about building trust and uh, nurturing a family at work. The focus of the course is on... See, now this is a graphic. This is a simple graphic uh, which display about what is the course offers. Perspectives. On... This is where your free pick. Free pick, you can download this... Uh, uh, graphic and you can change it and you can add things. Five key dimensions of being a people manager at the end of the day how well you manage yourself. You see this is even better. One after the other is popping up like a small bubbles. So that's that's something a little animation will always bring some effectiveness in terms of interest in the sense. It's a game. It's a game like kind of thing. Gamification. Set determines how effective a manager you are. In this course, your learning will happen through case studies, through interview conversations, through discussion for You see, the teacher is there. On the teacher, there is an overlay of one uh, uh, small strip and each one is appearing. So you get to see the teacher. You can do the same thing on her left side, on the left or right side. But she started, you see that she, we can focus both on her and also on uh, the screen. So she chooses to that. And for me, I think even it should be, it should have been even slightly lower. Forums through self-assessment exercises and finally the videos. Enroll now to know the key aspect. What did you observe in this video? There is something called background. The background in your photography, you have something, uh, if you are using a lens, even without lens also, in mobile also, you can blur the background. Background, Hamesha, when we actually shoot outside, what happens? It's not in the studio. She is doing impromptu. That means she is not looking at any text that is available in front of her. 
she memorized everything and she is speaking she might have practiced more times i'm sure so the background is actually blur with the blur what what is here you see my camera let me play with my camera a bit this is my background as my background i mean to say that you your vision might i mean if i blur a bit of my uh, background it's even i mean to say that it i feel that okay it takes a little bit of internet also um thanks of being an effective people manager so blurring always uh, brings a very interesting so in the entire video you find uh, a lot of uh, uh, you know a slight music and energetic and motivating inspirational so that actually also helps it's not just only what she's speaking uh, the professor and um, uh, the text which is that music is also trying to drive you to towards the course you see this is the nptel this is nptel nptel hrd nptel you see on the first video they have created something you see the first video that is called thumbnail when you make a video and somebody when i when i look at it nptel kind of thing you see that uh, um uh, i i want to see um uh, some, some video on uh, research or analytical clarification certification so this is that this is all things should should be there here uh, what is the what is the lecture is about and who is speaking you create a some uh, a small uh, you know a poster kind of thing you can upload it uh, before the video uh, so what happens it will be your thumbnail so thumbnail creation is also very important uh, this is also see basic theory of uh, turbo turbo mecha, turbo machines so turbo machines who is the speaker like you do it uh, for the invitation of uh, any um, teacher for a talk you can do it and uh, i i also wa uh, i wa i wanted to um, i wanted to tell you that it is important to note that your um, videos um can be it's better always record in full hd if you record in full hd what happens when you go to the internet uh, like youtube and all it will try to adjust the internet speed it just according to the internet speed if internet speed is low then it will become slightly uh lower in terms of uh, you see uh 420 400 or 325 so it will adjust this um, the, the quality of the video your video itself is say uh, quality is half hd or less than that then what happens you cannot uh, uh you viewers cannot see a better video if they have a less internet i mean not if they have a uh, connectivity issues okay connectivity issues in the sense they have a low bandwidth and all these things so uh, so so it is always good uh, if you record full hd that is enough because see if i am shooting for a longer distance uh, things then i need a very good camera for zooming and all purpose for a lecture purpose you can always do with your own camera with which you will have be having now most of the cameras 90% they are having the full hd option even better also but full hd 1080 is enough that way you can do it and uh, you can also create very good videos with your webcam and um, uh, with the webcam you can also uh, for example you want to do a video by using your own webcam in zoom so you have opened a zoom uh, website and uh, you want to record but all the laptop cameras they are not good cameras they are only telling you i mean of course my video because this is uh, uh, some this is uh, apple imac it is showing if i do it from my laptop it will not come like this uh, clear so what i will do there is something called iriuum there is something called iriuum this is a okay let me share this uh, are you able to see this ir ium 4k webcam for pc and mac what you need to do of course this is slightly complicated but uh, 
If you have the same app in your phone, same app in your PC, you just click, use the same Wi-Fi, click that, click this, and keep it on top of your cam, this thing. Then what happens? You can convert your phone as a webcam. Same Zoom, um, uh, uh, Zoom recording. You can record a very good uh, lecture by using, because phone back camera, it can record uh, whatever your true uh, uh, quality of the video is there. We have 1080 or even uh, 4K uh, quality, it can record. So this is an IRIUM webcam. Um, this you, you need to use the same, uh, this also I'm copying for you. You can use the same Wi-Fi, then only it will work. I'm going to say that if you don't have a DSLR camera, if you don't have a major facilities, you can always use these, uh, you know, uh, tools. And also something like presentation, YouTube presentation, presentation tube. Um, it's a small software. YouTube presentation tube, uh, presentation tube, sorry. You can, you know, presentation tube. I mean, it's a presentation tube. This is, uh, I think, in many of these uh, uh, Andhra Pradesh colleges, they are using this uh, presentation tube, actually. This presentation tube, uh, tube uh, is, is very powerful in a way. Uh, let me see. Uh, this way, this is something like uh, not simply um, a, a screen recorder kind of thing. You can do a lot of activities by using this uh, software. This is a, uh, let me just... Maybe I'll share the exact link uh, to you, uh, but this is a this is called presentation tube recorder. In the presentation tube recorder, it works like uh, um, uh, like online presentation, uh, like like you do in uh, Zoom recording and all these things. But it is it will give you. It's a, it's, it will makes you at the end of the day, uh, you can use your PPT as a part of that. You can use your um, pen tab, pen tab, uh, connect EJ if you're a maths teacher or maybe physics teacher, then you can do a lot of calculations and all. So I think before I come, uh, I end my lecture, I want to show you again uh, how interesting if you actually look at this uh, this is also another we actually take uh, this thing this is how you see uh, this itself is um, yeah, I mean, even any questions also you can ask me before I just download this. Uh, I have, uh, I, there are free sources where you can find uh, uh, the animated material also in the sense um, if you want to um, see a, a physics model. And uh, there are a number of uh, places where you can actually uh, have this uh, material which you can use it. So this has that thing, but um, a simple graphics like this, you see, this is a, a machine, how the washing machine is going, is working. You know, washing machine, how it works actually, how it rolls and cleans and all. So you have a, a 3D graphics which are available that is free and even a, a moving uh, things. So these are some of the 3D animated things, which which which, which also helps when you actually uh, download and uh, use them. If you look at some of the some of the um, uh, say, uh, let me okay. 
some of the researches you see are you how much you are actually concentrating uh, taking care in terms of your presentation uh, and also making your content uh, is i want to say that um, uh, we, we generally focus on the visuals you say that uh, graphs what uh, illustrations power even you can use powerpoint slides some of the powerpoint slides you can make a nice slide this is a nice slide i want to say that i must say that and this uh, slide you see the font is not actually the usual uh, times new roman all which we have seen for a long time so um, you can use uh, these powerpoints pictures videos and articles and auditory ones you sometimes you can also um, give when you upload it uh, you can also give an additional oer material sometimes you have a podcast again this is another thing effective content it is not just only a, a video content nowadays the podcasting Uh, try to download the uh, anchor application or maybe go to create an account in spotify and uh, start your educational channel that is also there i mean this is again in addition to this i'm telling nowadays the uh, podcasting is one of the uh, important thing which is coming up very very big and what i understood that iit uh, videos nptel videos they give you an options so once you see the video once you see the video they will give you an option do you want to download a e text or you want to download a video you want to download an mp3 so um it's always good many students there as even uh, even we also we listen to the youtubes sometimes we don't see the youtube so likewise you need to understand that um, the, the the importance of uh, audio files if you give a even you can make a a, a, a kind of a, a separate the audio and you give them as an mp3 file because students should have a choice whether they want to see the video whether they want to listen to you or whether they want to read it so these three options are there and listening uh, why it will become more important is that nowadays you see a lot of enhancements have come uh, on the go you are listening to the car listening in the car listening in the Uh, wherever you are, there airports are there, and the files are very simple. You can share it very easily. So all the notes you you can uh, in the in the audio lectures it can be done. So audio podcasting is also very important thing. Of course, we talked about um, kinetics and hand activity and all. And sometimes you have in there, again there there are a number of websites where you can find the interactive material. okay interactive material where there is a small amount of movement which is already created so you can do that i mean to say you can use uh, i mean to say that uh, some of these uh, note pad sorry what is it uh, uh, one note uh, kind of thing where you can do the mass calculations and all very uh, easily or maybe you can use uh, um, some of these uh, coded things where you can you can have some activity which is not just in a picture which is not moving at all if there is a picture there should be a voice or something or uh, some some animated things a simple animation for example a text comes and um, uh, and another uh, two uh, explanations and folding one by one that itself is an animation so um of course a lot of these things so that this is these are such for example trajectory trajectory and all this is this is animated actually if you just click uh, this boy and this is what will happen so these kind of things are also there and um, you can also uh, use uh, some of the emerging content uh, like augmented reality content uh, like looking at the um, the the, the pl- planets by using like something like uh, 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 star trek uh, 2 i mean this, uh, this uh, what is it um is th- there is a um, you can you can see but with your mobiles you can see the entire uh, uh, sky that is a ar uh, kind of thing so you can record that kind of a content also where you can have the globe with your with your mobile if you say if you press that uh maybe the entire global will sit on your table and you are recording that while you are explaining so you need not to create that content you can record you can make a video that clip you can use it so this is slightly complicated we need some little bit of 
training. But otherwise, if you have an app and you can do it, that is the augmented reality content in the classroom. You can record a video and you can use it. That is uh, uh, one of the... I, I stop. Uh, maybe we have some eight minutes to have a discussion. If you have any questions or anything, I'll be happy to answer. We'll be taking questions now. If anybody has, you can type them in the chat box if you're not able to unmute yourself. Or you can raise your hand so we can uh, uh, see who has a question to ask. Please feel free to ask any questions. Are you using, uh, how many of you are using uh, uh, any video lectures? I, have you made any video lectures so far in the YouTube or any other platform for your institute? Yes, Ankita ji and uh, has made some lectures. Or, uh, and sometimes you see, you if you don't, uh, if not if if institution is not insisting on making videos, then you can always make uh, your own uh, entrepreneur kind of thing. You can make your presence. And also, uh, you can also make uh, this audio podcasting more seriously. As I mean, educational broadcasting. And that's a, uh, that's a, also uh, very important. So uh, uh, what is the initiatives that your institute is making in terms of uh, making videos? Uh, what do we do after this workshop? Are you going to start or you're going to just attend? How is going to use it? Yeah, COVID time, of course, Santoshi have started uh, recording. We all started recording. And uh, why don't you, I think it is time to look at those COVID time uh, Zoom recordings and all. You cut, uh, you edit those videos. You edit those videos. At least you take out the audio and edit some of these. There's, uh, there's an app called uh, um, uh, Audacity. There's an app called Audacity. Uh, I will type here where you can simply, that means repurpose the content. You have already have the content and you try to, um, you know, use that content for uploading. You have made several content during the COVID. I'm sure that content can be reused. Um, I think Sonia ji, you have used videos uh, for your, you, you have a separate YouTube channel, Sonia ji. Audacity is the one which you can use it for audio editing. I think, uh, yeah, I think you have a you have a YouTube channel, yeah. So because see, even for my son in Delhi, we want to know uh, about uh, a very difficult Hindi poem. Uh, they think that uh, since I studied in Navodaya, they will come to me. Her mother sends me as I am expert. First, I will see in YouTube. Uh, very simple way of explanation which teacher has done. First I'll understand, then I'll go and uh, uh, try to explain. So YouTube is inevitable now. The video lectures because uh, it doesn't matter if one teacher is um, is teaching one lecture, it doesn't mean that you cannot make that lecture. Still you can make uh, 10 varieties of uh, uh, versions can, could be there and uh, students will choose and even different languages you can make. Uh, that is another advantage. Try to make your own. Uh, that is what national educational policy is also pushing. Uh, more textbooks in in, uh, in other languages and uh, introducing language education and traditional knowledge. These are all very, very important thing. This is the time you can uh, uh, give same lecture you record in Hindi also, record in uh, uh, other uh, Bhojpuri also, or different languages you can do. So that way what happens, the reach and benefit will be there. You may be having same, maybe 30 people are viewing, but still that uh, even one person who is benefited from it. One of the intermediate uh, school teacher made a video. Uh, in, I mean, he was just uh, talking to me as that SSA Karna. Then he made a video. He bought a green screen. Uh, then he made something at very with a limited thing. Green screen cloth will 600 rupees. Then with tube lights and all he kept, he is short. So road never taken. So, there are people from UP and other places, they are calling, uh, they are messaging in the uh, YouTube, sir, we benefited a lot. Please make some more videos. So there is a need for uh, teachers 
you know because classroom is not the only learning space after that also uh, you can there are a lot of things that uh, they want to come back and uh, look at uh, what you have made so what to, they want to refer and listen to again and again so that some students may understand if they refer more and understand and uh, they may get us one time one more time they see they can understand better so there is a lot of space That's what i'm telling that there is a lot of space for educational content at the school level at the school level but otherwise what happens if you don't make let me tell you to all of you if you don't make the problem with our uh, uh, institutions is since we are at the schools we are not making content byju's has come up you see there is a byju's taps are sold for 50000 rupees parents are ready to take it because one of the reason is we are not uh, making the content it is a time that students are not just only learning from the classroom but also learning from the the content uh, in the archived content that's very important so uh, looks like there are no questions any more questions from the participants please resend the quiz link the quiz link has been posted in the whatsapp kusuma so, sir can we close this session yes 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 so uh, dear participants i uh, once again thank you all for sticking uh, till the end i hope this was a very informative session we earnestly thank uh, professor dr khusuma sir for uh, accepting our invitation and enlightening us with his uh, knowledge uh, we expect that all the teachers continue to follow what all we have learned today and these small uh, a uh, tiny what do you call uh, uh, the the trick tips and tricks will actually get you know a lot of professionality in your work so we'll make it a general practice to follow these tiny things in our presentations and everywhere else uh, well with this word i think we are good to close for uh, today's session uh, i uh, i remind all of you to join tomorrow again at 3 pm and we are left with uh, no we are left with two more days and with this we can wind up the entire uh, project uh, so i once again thank all of you thank you for joining thank you thank you